the dark or what? All right, exactly. What's happening? Oh, what's your feelings, gentlemen? motherfucker? It's your, it's your man. Uh, my, my, my feelings are great. Oh, my yeah. feelings are very are, are good. Oh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Anyway. I have no like drama. Uh, I have no stress. You oh, so you can't even guy. relate. You're not even no. in the same club. Oh, no. get the get this guy, get no. this poser out of here, well, man. No, no, no. I'm saying like, I don't. I didn't just get here mad like magically. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to go through some stuff to get to my to the headspace I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It just don't pop up like this. Man, you think I just popped up like that? Is that what yes. you thought? You, yes. I think you I talking just, like it? Absolutely. You talking like just, it's sunshines and rainbows? So you think shit. you think I just woke up in that bam? I'm just yes, sir. He said DJ talking to moms. Yikes! Oh my god. What you? We should talk about not depression. again. Y'all want to talk about depression today? That don't sound like a very good podcast to me. Yeah, that's not a. Fun, I don't think. I don't think it's fun. depression. Well, no, never mind. Forget it. No, nah, not to speak. Speak your mind. Speak well, your mind. It's what not. You trying to say? It's not. It's not depression. It's like just, I guess, like alluding to stuff that's going on in like your life and like how you try. How you trying to fix it? Because you don't know what other people are going to do either. So. <sighs> Look, man, I'm having. They might be having just a bad time. Look, 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 man. According to DJ, I'm having girl problems, man. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now. According just, to me, uh, yeah. According to DJ, um, listen, bro. It's just it's a little weird because it's still it's still very fresh. You know what I mean? I don't Did even. You, are you comfortable talking about? It? No. Not on wax. Then we then we, Not should, on just, wax. we should just let it go. Not we on just wax. Let it go. Yeah, nah, man. You got me. Go. Got me. About yeah, he, you got me out here trying to. You know, it's it's different if I were able to allude to it, but I didn't even have no like, I wasn't thinking about it in the car or nothing. I was listening to the Breakfast Club on the way over here. Like I was, I was trying to make it through traffic and just deal with all of the stuff like and all of the emotions. I mean, we could talk about emotions and stuff like that. Like that's that's fine. I don't want to get like specific. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a day. Like <laughs> emotions, like emotions, like what um right now i think i think what's really tough is trying to navigate through uh what i feel is a dark space um what i feel is like actual fucking sadness you know what i mean and i think it's uh, the hardest part is trying to kind of figure out the confusion and like going through like okay what's the next step what do i do now uh how do i recover from this or is there is there a way i can go backwards you know what I mean? Like, am I allowed the opportunity to go backwards? Is that it? Or a friend of mine, she was saying, just feel what you feel, which I don't really, I don't really believe in. I don't. Mm -mm. I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And so it's mm -mm. a lot of, it's a lot of mixed. It's a lot of mixed. That's the worst advice right you can right give now. somebody. It's Honestly. Just, you know, just feel how you feel. I, I don't, I don't see it because then you don't, when you feel what you feel, you kind of sit in your funk, man. And you just, you you just melt in it. You know what I mean? Like, it'll stop you from doing things. Like, my my usual method is to just deal with it for the first day. Maybe the second day after that, you gotta gotta pretend like it doesn't exist and just get up and keep moving. That's like the best best thing for me because I can't I can't just sit in that shit all the time. It just doesn't make any damn sense for me. So, I think um, that's the worst advice you can give somebody is feel how they feel. Yeah. Cause then, cause it it be some people that be feeling some, some way about just, and it just encourages them to make a dumb decision. Like granted, given all the evidence mm -hmm. that's been that's in your back catalog, you still feel this way about this person, and then tell like, having somebody that you confide in be like, yo, it's okay to feel that way, or like you should feel how you should feel, you should sit in it. And then you should make a decision. That's the worst thing you tell somebody. Yeah, you make bad decisions in, with bad energy, bro. Exactly. Exactly. And so I, I don't ever be telling people that. No, it's, you, a, bad don't you ever it's sit a bad thing it. to say to people who can't uh, control their emotions. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't think I can be trusted. I can't be trusted. So if somebody can control their emotions, you 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 will be like, you can sit in it. Yep. You can definitely say that to someone who can control their emotions. I don't know, man. I'm. I'd be moving. <laughs> I'd be moving irrationally. I <laughs> I'd be. I, that's how. That's how I ended up in the predicament I'm in the first place. This morning at six a.m., I was like, I'm gonna be irrational today. <laughs> and then next see, thing you know, see. I spent all day in my fucking feelings, bro. This was not. It was not the move, man. It was absolutely not the move. And I think. Uh, 
even like talking to my therapist a little bit today because he was fucking that motherfucker was on some shit um that was the exact opposite of what i got i got uh basically sit your ass down (laughs) sit still you're not ready to to make any type of maneuvers at all but i'm in a rush I'm in a rush to get past it. I'm too old to be feeling like this, bro. I'm too old to be sad just to be sad. You know what I mean? Uh, especially the fact that, you know, from my previous situations, it's I never really had the time to, like, sit in shit because uh, I'd be sitting in shit for days. And when I don't, I need to come up with solutions. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's the situation I was in where the other person was telling me, like, yo, you can't just sit here and do nothing you got to come up with some solutions so and you know your man's is just kind of stuck i guess so that's that's kind of where i'm at i'm trying to get through the next dude few days then this weekend i'm for the who i'm for to be gone i'm gonna be big gone don't expect nothing from me i ain't posting nowhere i'm turning my phone off i'm fucking hitting this these couple bottles of melatonin I'm finna be sleep from sun up till sundown all the way to Tuesday, bro. I'm not. But you just you just feel like that because it's fresh though. That's what I believe. It's, it always I, feels I, bro, this way. We we gonna revisit this in like two weeks. <laughs> I guarantee you. We're not gonna revisit gonna be nothing. That, no, I promise you, I'm not because I still feel the same way I did last week. Except I'm better. I was better at hiding it. It's just fresher today. Because, you know, it got refreshed from, you know, a face-to-face conversation, essentially. So, I don't... It's whatever, man. I felt like this for a while. It's been this way for... Four years? Yeah, about four years. It's just, you know, sometimes your hole that you dig is just deeper than usual. And you can hide the bodies better. That's all. That's all that really... That's all depression really is, man. Just how you hide the bodies today. That's it. That's, I don't even really want to be in a scenario where I gotta hide some bodies for real. You ain't never. I'd rather, you ain't never thought about like, yo, I could pop off with this right now. Let me just think of a way how to dissolve the body in acid, chop it up, put it in a couple of nope. different places, toss two nope. pieces in the ocean, a couple in the valley. Nah, that's not you. I must nope. be a psychopath then. I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> then, because. <laughs> Yo, this man Arrow is just like, oh Jesus! But anyway, um, that's I'm the pre-show. Saying, I guess. That's the pre-show. What's up? What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. You know the host of your favorite inconsistently consistent oh. podcast. We're a day late today. Um, you know, we were just having a little conversation before you know we get started. Um, I'm here with all my co-hosts. You guys know him. You guys know him, Mr. DJ Son, aka Captain Coochie. All right. I'm yes, also sir. here with my man yes, Plank, sir. and we have a very what? special guest filling in for Deacon today, uh, Mr. Arrow Nage. How you doing, guys? Doing fine. Well, all right. How we about vibing today? Uh, we vibing in the field. I think I'm gonna today. relinquish my title. What? You don't want to be? I'm gonna home? relinquish my title, man. Captain the, Coochie. The captain. The captain thing is not. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm gonna throw it's it. It's a bad look for you now. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bad I'm look. It it's public now. So I'm throw it away. Yeah, somebody too, has something too, to say. It's it's too it's too out there. What they say? There. What they say? I'm not I'm not. They ain't say nothing. I'm just saying like. What, like are, what are the streets like saying? Captain, Captain Coochie is a little too strong. That was Commander you know for you. <laughs> commander. You know, commander Coochie. is lower than Captain. <laughs> yes, sir. But Private I'm, only, I'm only trying to really be like, because commander and captain sound like you leading a plethora, plethora, mm-hmm. Pl- mm-hmm. Pl- a plethora. platoon, <laughs> a platoon, basically, yes, like all behind you. You know, you're the leader saying? of the movement, man. That's you, right? K E W. Like you just gotta. I'm, no, I'm not. That's I, you, I, that's I, your catchphrase. That's your catchphrase. No, because cadet cadet seems too new. <laughs> He's not new it to seems the too new. I'm not really new. Admiral Admiral Coochie. <laughs> Admiral Coochie. <laughs> See, that still sounds like a new song. So I don't you are know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Private. We'll it private. Out. So you want to be thoughts, so you right. want to be high enough to where you're not leading it, but not Lieutenant low enough Coochie. to where you're not Lieutenant, Lieutenant you're not Sergeant like Coochie in the building. Yeah. Mr. Much. Take your mom. Drill Sergeant Coochie. No pun intended. Drill Sergeant. Oh, Drill Sergeant. Man. That's funny. That's funny. Um, anyway, so we don't really got much to talk about this week. So we're taking some questions at the beginning. 
Um, so as we go through it, you guys can feel free to barrage us with questions, comments, concerns, pretty much anything. Um, I don't really, I mean, I'll have, I have a question for the podcast actually. Um, all right. And I guess, I guess each one of you guys can answer this individually. Obviously today going through it, you know, um, and I was having this conversation with Plank earlier a little bit, um, Based on the next, I don't want to sound like nobody's girlfriend or nothing like that, but based on the next two to three years, where do you guys want to be at? Where do you guys want to feel like you're at? Maybe not physically, but like maybe mentally, emotionally, uh, for some of us financially. Free. Like, like my, did you say free? Yeah. Brother, brother, are you, a, are you good? Are you, are you okay? Are you you almost, good? You asked oh, him if he's a slave. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> my mental shackles. Oh, you yeah. got to, you got to, I see you got the shackles. Oh, okay. On. Okay. Hey, why don't you expand, expand on that, my man, Ben Yaman? Speak uh, to the people, Ben Yaman. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just like... Uh, take your time, by the way. You know, verbal. I, me and my homegirl, we call it verbal vomiting, where essentially you just throw out as much wordage trying to process that stuff as possible. And people, we just sit back and listen and try to help you, you know, piece the words together, if that makes any sense. So you can try that, yeah. Try and you know speak speak from in here, whatever whatever's down in here. Try and throw it out. Uh, from like a young age, I would deal with like anger and shit. Mm -hmm. So like now that I'm older, and I can handle controlling anger, I'm like in between chill, angry, and like whatever's over here, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm like dead in the center. So if some shit happens. I'm angry, but I'm also like calm Centered. and collected. Right, right, right. I can also like make decisions, right? Mm -hmm. But it also. He said I can enter the Avatar tackle. state at will. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. Uh, it's also a shackle, though, because it's like you can't take action. You're always mm -hmm. thinking of the next thing or. Or just trying some other shit, right? But you won't be able to take action because you're always thinking. Right? right, right. And then you overthink, and the next thing you know, you're just like sitting there slapping yourself in the forehead. Pretty much. And you're just like, fuck. Like, <laughs> and Do then, you feel like you jump too quick? I jump too quick? Yeah. No, like definitely when, like not. When... Definitely not. I feel like I think too much. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I have a question, Arrow. Arrow, mm -hmm. do you think you're Broly? Yeah. What? No, I'm just, what is that? I'm just playing. I, what is that? Where was that even I'm going? I, heard, I, don't, I got all this anger, in man. I'm, I'm He's a legendary anger. super saint. Oh my god. Where, where did Broly come from? Broly definitely got angry. You're the, you're the, for sure, the angry I god. Think, man. I don't think it's the legendary super saint. I don't think it's the same thing. I don't think it's the same nah, thing I'm at all. Trying. I think Broly's just on the anger side. That man ain't got chill. no coochie. That's why I'd be angry too if I go 41 years without coochie. Shit. <laughs> it's just me, my 40, dad, and 41? a bunch of... Uh, yeah, Broly is 41 in the Dragon Ball Super movie. I did not know that. Yeah, he's as old as Goku. And either either he's 41 or 51. I think. It's one of those. He's at least he 40. Look 41. Yeah, he's at least... I mean, none of the Saiyans do. They that age slower. True. So, you know. Slower. Except for, you know, their kids or something like that. But yeah, man, I'd be... I'd be a little upset too if I go on a on a whole planet of just bug monsters and my dad. Yeah, bro, that should have drive me insane too. <laughs> yeah, that should have me fucked up. Ain't no coochie in sight. Oh my god! Like, bro. <laughs> but Bruh. I, th I think you need I, to be stopped. I, <laughs> I think I understand. I think I understand where he's coming from, though. It's 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 feeling like you should take action. You can take action, but you know the the smarter half of you just doesn't. It it just you know it's not the situation either didn't call for it or it's already a little too too little too late you know it's variables to it like after the fact you're just like fuck you know and it's just it seems like it's a big blur that happened and sometimes you even wish you would have said certain things or did certain things and you're like you know you're replaying it in your mind over and over again and it's it's the most fucked up shit in the world literally what's yeah. happening so the past few days Bro, I can't, I can't even imagine. We'll probably talk about it off the podcast if you want, but, um, yeah, yeah, man, that's that's tough. What about what about you, DJ? Two, three years, where you want to be at physically, mentally, emotionally? 
two, three years. I know. I know where you want to be. Scenario? I know where you want to be at with your health too. So you know. Yeah. So yeah. you know any any of that stuff, yeah. bro. Like where where you want your mind at? Where you want your feet at? Where I mean. Well, health wise, two three years. I want to be on my Tyrese Gibson type stuff. Yes, you sir. Know what I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, that's that's where I. Ninety nine Tyrese. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm talking. I'm talking like beanie, beanie jeans, and the tank top. Like oh, that. That right. that's me. That's What's me up, right Tony? there. So physically, I want to be like that. Mentally, I feel like I'm gaining a lot of. Guess I guess I could say head headway, like now. So in head, no. Okay. Well, no, no. I'm <laughs> just saying, Gucci, ladies and gentlemen, he talking about okay. it. Speak on okay. it, brother. Speak on I'm it. I'm just, I'm Don't just. Don't be saying, scared. <laughs> mentally, I'm in a way better headspace than I was. I feel like maybe like a year, a year and a half ago, maybe somewhere around that type of thing. Like, cause I used to feel like you know the whole thing with like the content, right? Like the YouTube mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And it's like you don't feel like you should be doing this, or you feel like you this is trash. You don't think you can uh, extend yourself to this level, but like now, where I'm at, the headspace that I'm at now is like it's way more clear than it was back then. Now I'm not really all that down on myself mm-hmm. with stuff I do. It's just the fact that like yo, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it, and then if I fail at it, okay, that's fine. We'll figure out something when I get there. But as far as like me being in my own head about like what I can't do before I even step foot out the door, like we ain't doing that no more. So, right. Mentally, I think I'm good now. Financially, best scenario, best case scenario will be Twitch, tw- the Twitch blow. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like I'm just my my face is in Times Square. Right. Like right, I'm, right. Talk, I'm talking. I'm talking. Trying that to get a Twitch bag. Right. 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 But. I'm not even gonna say if that fails because I don't want to do that because that means like I'm kind of hoping for it to fail. So right, I you say putting that. you putting that out there. Right, 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 right. So, but other endeavors would be, uh, it's a few good opportunities around me that I'm looking into for stuff. So, right. uh, two years from now, I would want to be somewhere where I could be like successful within those opportunities. Without at a later date, I will I will say what I'm looking into. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, that's what I'm doing. So I I want to be like just good financially, good like mentally, happy. All that all that jazz. What's what's if if I may, what's happy to you? What feels what feels happy to you? Damn, this is a deep this is a deep episode. <laughs> I didn't mean to I don't know why that just popped into my head. <laughs> happy is for me is drama free. Like Living your best life, basically, if that makes sense. Trying to be on your like, little Duval. <laughs> basically, DJ want to have a hot like, boy summer. I'm sorry. He really is. He trying no, to be down with no, the city I'm boys. Not. <laughs> I'm not. Yes, sir, right I'm now. not. I'm not. Look, listen. I'm trying to have me a city girl, boy girl, summer too. Girl, bro. I'm talking to right now. One woman, man. One mm-hmm. woman. I ain't, I'm not entertaining nothing else. You... That's it. That's exactly. I'm not having no hot boy summer. It's just. It's just one person. You can have a. That's you it. can have a city boy summer and, and be in a relationship. I don't want to do that. Okay, so uh ever since I left the city you <laughs> No, that that's not me. That's not me. That's not me. It's not me. I'm more I'm more like you know the the, the Kirk Franklin choir, you know what I'm saying? Up, like Spectrum? clapping side to side. That's me. Uh yeah, Tony, go ahead and hop in the uh in the culture chat, man. Um I think wait, did I give Tony? I gotta give Tony the podcast role. Sorry, that's my bad. Um that's interesting that you say that, man, because I would think, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what my interpretation of, you know, you being happy is. Uh, that would be a little weird. Um, but it is. Interesting you can say it. I'm open to hearing it. I mean, it is it is very interesting to hear you hear you say it because I try to relate it to where I think I would be at. Um, and it's it's a it's very interesting. I like hearing other people's perspectives of, you know, what they think. Uh, where they're going to be happy. You know what I mean? Like, I like to hear other people's goals and ambitions and stuff like that because then, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, you know, my shit not so bad. You know. What's up, Brother Tony? How you doing, man? Welcome to the podcast. Um, I missed you, boo. Um, I miss you, too. <laughs> That's crazy. But, um... <laughs> Y'all need a minute? Nah, I just haven't seen my man oh, okay. in a, in a okay. while. That's why. So I was just checking. Yeah, yeah. We definitely coming to Florida though, Tony. We definitely coming to Florida for sure. 
uh, oh, to- real, yeah, today's actions kind of solidified it. So, <laughs> yeah, he's very interesting. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, I always find it very interesting to hear other people's takes on what'll make them happy, what'll make them, you know, smile, what'll make them whole, what'll make them complete. Because I was talking to Deacon and Plank about it today. I said the one thing that'll probably make me happy is to uh, essentially break bread for my homies. Like I don't really care about like materialistic stuff like to an extent. Like I don't need a fucking Lamborghini or a Ferrari because them shits is you know played out. You know what I mean? Not only are they played out, but they're liabilities and you know they're not very good investments either. So you know. But, I mean, if something happens and one of the homies needs, like, you know, two grand, like, you know, I got the hospital bill or I need something fixed on the house, bro, going to take, going to take the bread, going to take it. And I think that's, that's something that's always made me very happy is being able to effortlessly go out of my way to help, help the homies. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's something that I truly draw, like, actual happiness from. So, which is super strange, too. Which is why I play tanks in every single game I play. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. So, that, but don't worry, team. Get behind me. Yeah, use my body as a shield. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh no, I died. So, <laughs> but uh, what about you, Plank? Two three. Oh man. Uh, you putting in a two three bit? Uh, I'm not at? really the type to to think about that. I gotta I gotta take things one day at a time. Mm-hmm. I uh, it's it's hard for me to to think that way. Because uh, you you never know, you can have idealis uh, like ideals and and things that you want, but at the end of the day, I I'll never know where I'll I'll go. So, right. My my goal right now and my goal has been for the last however long I don't even know uh, how long at this point. It's just just be better than I was yesterday. That's that's all I can really ask for. I uh, for that. myself. I don't want to give myself something unrealistic and then, you know. I can't even live up to that shit because I know me better than anyone else. So I know I'm not going to live up to that shit. Right. You might as well keep things incremental, keep them small, keep it manageable, you know, just be better than I was yesterday. That's really the, that's been the goal for a while. Hmm. Okay. I'll that's a good, that. that's a good answer. Yeah, that, is that was a, really a good, good answer. answer. Yeah. That's, that shit made me want to poop. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What? Nah, it, it just it just shook me. It shook me. It, it it gave me like you know that anxious feeling you get, or like say you haven't eaten and you're like you're kind of nervous about something. And it gives you the bubble guts a little bit. It's like that. It shook me. His words shook me. All right, damn. I always trying to mix up my words, man. Come on now. <laughs> if, uh, t- you, all right. Uh, anyway, they ain't got nothing to do with me. What about you, Tony? Two to two to three. Where do you see? Ah. Uh. <clears throat> uh hopefully my channel blows up enough where i can start doing the actual shit that i want to do like skits move back to la uh same thing as you just kind of help out my friends family especially my family like bro did you get like, a new mic uh no i was gonna say your mic sound crispy as hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm sorry uh, i had to, i had to point that out good. <laughs> just uh, useless information don't I have so many plans in my head and like it's just I have to fight with my my impatience Mm -hmm. sometimes and like I always tell my girlfriend because like she's literally the one that's allowing me to like stay home and do YouTube full time Mm -hmm. while she takes care of the the bills and I just hit like my like one of my milestones which is hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube okay and Hold, hold on I got something for this there we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. He had to lean over and hit the button. It was, it was legitimately probably one of the coolest things ever because, like, I had no help. It was just me posting consistently every day. So, like, that really helped me. So, once uh, once I get to that point, I'm probably just going to go back to L.A., uh, start making moves, start to cont- contacting people making businesses like i know my brother wants my my brother wants to make a restaurant i'm definitely gonna just cut him off some money and be like just just give me whatever you think you want me you want to give me and obviously j videos and whatnot that we have planned oh bro that's if they don't put me underneath the jail 
<laughs> they gonna put me in the in the padded room, bro. At this rate, no they fuck that. I'm, I'm taking you out. Nah, that's nah, cool. Leave, Don't worry about it. Leave me in the room. I belong here. <laughs> you ever you ever seen Prison Break, Jay? Uh, I have. I watched that's exactly how it's gonna happen. That's how it's going down. No, sir. I'm Tony's saying, getting the map yeah. of the prison tattooed I, right on yeah. it. Yes, Dog. yes. We breaking them out. I we are breaking them out. in the padded cell. Y'all better leave no, you're not. me the hell alone. No, you're not. Your drop tattoo. Everything's happening. Don't, mm -mm. don't even worry about it. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. I'm with it. No, I'm with you. it. We breaking them out. All right. Anyway, I, I just, no. I, I mean, I wanted to ask because you know, I think everybody's goals are very. Uh, interesting and sometimes putting that stuff out there you you feel it when you say it um even if you know it's kind of like shooting for the moon type shit you trying to steph curry to the to the fucking moon landing but i'm i know for me anytime i ever say my goals out loud and stuff like that it it feels interesting i don't know if it feels good or if it feels bad but i i feel it in my spirit if that makes any sense so you know i figure you know that's a good way to start the podcast off that was that was my question so we can move on to some of the other ones unless somebody has something to add okay i'm gonna take you some okay yes. you good. Right. okay <laughs> um okay. first question comes from gangsta saying he says our anime is gonna evolve or will or will there be an agreeable big three ever again um thoughts opinions anybody i think the big three is a stupid term it's just anime honestly bro because like back then when Naruto believe what is even what do they qualify? Like, so I, I say I say big four in my head because Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, and then Dragon Ball. Right. I don't count Dragon Ball. It's it's a eighties. It's, I, yeah, it's, it's a different era. You don't you don't count yeah. it? Mm -mm. Completely different time. Dragon period. Ball Z. Yeah, completely different time period. Because where it started, it started in the eighties. So it it was one of those things that was cemented before the the big three and i think mm -hmm. i think a lot of people why they call it the big three is because it was very uh significant for that time period like social media wasn't really as big as it is today like nowhere near and so to see three just brand new shows kind of like start and hit in the early 2000s and like all succeed at the same time all huge amounts of sales the animes are popping you know what i mean like that's it, it's it's a it's a statement of the time period, really. It's not It's not really so much like, oh, the big three, like these are the most legendary shows ever. No, definitely not. I, I've seen f multiple shows that are way better than all three of those. So it's like, it's once again, it's a testament, it's a statement of the time period, not of, not of actual like quality and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of people will probably argue against that and be like, one piece is the greatest or this is the greatest or whatever, but it's like, well, like you said, it's just a show. They're just mm -hmm. fictional shows that have huge impact. Because it, without a doubt, we can 100% say, and I kind of do agree with you a little bit about the big four, uh, but one show will always reign supreme as far as like its influence, and it's definitely Dragon Ball. And that was like long before mm -hmm. Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. So, yeah, you know. I think the other big thing is the fact that like the big three is not like just that moment in time it's generational so like when sword art online came out that was part of like that generation's big three i don't know about the other ones but there's always a big three type of anime for every generation like this generation is definitely like uh my hero like my hero, hero uh, Jujutsu kaisen stuff like that like i hope we never see a big three again uh not because i hated it but because it kind of stifles new anime ideas because for a while the big three was just shonen that was it and with anime today we have so much variety mm. it's not just shonen it's so much more like one of my favorite animes is not even a shonen it's called mushishi so like it's the big three just for me it's like it brought up an era of anime watchers and a big one so will we ever see a big three probably not and i hope to god we don't really i think that kind of limits it too yeah so trying to fit so the question was what, what it was or was if what anime like advanced or what was it 
uh, or, our anime is gonna evolve. Uh, will evolve? There be, yeah, basically. Uh, I don't. I don't think. Well, it's, it's like evolve. Evolve like how though? Because if like, it's art style, it's always gonna evolve art style. Yeah. Like, art so like, what we talking about? Because like, Overall, have you seen like how anime used to be in like the nineties and shit? Like, it's already evolving. It's always yeah. Evolves. I think yeah, like anything. Of, uh, this year, uh, fifty. I think it was like fifty-two percent of all anime ever created uh, was in, was after two thousand. Yeah, after two thousand. Two thousand ten. Yep, after two thousand ten, which is crazy because that's a lot of anime. So the total amount of anime in total, half of it was made after two thousand ten. So it's pretty. It's pretty nuts. It's a pretty good time to be an anime fan. Um, honestly, and it's pretty... It's a, it, I'm not gonna lie. It's Manga kind of, too, actually. It's kind of a bad time to be an anime fan. Honestly. Yes it's and no. The best and worst time. Yeah. I think uh, some of this stuff is a little out of control, if you ask me. But, you know, nobody was asking me. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I think so. we're, we're starting to see, like, anime trying to evolve with using, like, 3D and whatnot. I personally don't like it, but... If done properly, if, I like exactly. It. If like done Demon properly, Slayer, it could be fucking dope. You know, it's Demon Slayer does it really well. I I rewatched Demon Slayer the other day, um, mm -hmm. last week actually, and I was not happy with what I was watching. I mean, it was hype really? in the moment, but then I was like, I was trying to consider the context of the full show, and it seems like the story is like, eh. But like watching it is is hype as fuck. Like it's got great music, great animation, great uh, characters that you can relate to. And I think it's got like four out of the five major points that I would like to see for an anime. You know what I mean? So it's it's a shonen. I never really give too much credence to this to the actual story. I mean, it's I think it's it's done well enough where I'm not mad about it. But it's it's a shonen. Like I've I've seen this story before. But what I like about it is the art is fantastic. Yeah, especially in the manga. Show. It's a sexy looking show. I fuck with it. Absolutely. I don't like the it. ending though. That's long thing. No cap. Hey man, it's cool. Michael Jackson Jesus is doing Christ. his thing, man. Um Jack Chase asks, what's your favorite color? Um blacker than the black is black times infinity for me. Red. Oh. Mine's red too. I don't really have, I have a specific a reason for it. I just, just fucking got born and just like, oh, I like red. I've I've always liked red. I, like like, I got teal, my keyboard is red, uh, black and red. My chair is black and red. Like, the, teal, I got okay. red lights in the back. Mm. A great color combination. Red. It is. Thank you. Thank you. It's 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 cute. It's cute as hell. Why does yeah, I fuck with purple berry. Is uh, lime green. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, are edgy anime acceptable in 2021, or should they just make a hentai at this point? That's a good question. Thoughts and opinions, gentlemen. Edgy anime. Well, we just... they're separate for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm being real. I don't know anything edgy about anime. this. So edgy oh, anime not. is is stuff with a lot of implied titties. Implied. Okay. Not so, not implied. Okay. Some of them are just straight up out there. Yeah, some I mean, some stuff is a little bit more. High school DXD, yeah. Yeah, fucking food wars. Um, so the question was, should so there be more? No, um, he says, should should the etchy just should it be, be acceptable? Should they just stop like that? Oh, acceptable? Yeah, should it be acceptable in 2021? I I don't know what parameter acceptable is because when you have something like food wars and fire force that exist with plenty of etchy moments, uh, I don't know. Just. If you wanted it to be a porn, I, just make it a porn. Like, but I think I think people are accepting it though. Like, cause I it's, I hear people talk about like stuff like that all the time. Like within uh, animes that they watch, like little scenes like that. Like, or if, if it was a lot of like just boom in your face stuff like you know, if the people mm -hmm. talk about it, they watch it all the time. But mm -hmm. like, my favorite so, anime is like that shit is all over. It. Like Kill a Kill, that shit's all over. That you shit. know, what's an interesting like, question. Is not only anime, but now that hot tub streaming is a real thing. I know this is the third week we've brought it up, but it <laughs> relates very closely. It relates very, very closely, and I'll tell you why. I went on Twitch today while I was at work. Very bad idea. Don't do it. Don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, and so I just went and I typed Amaranth because, you know, I had to. I had to take a look. And then 
She I stays see streaming. There's an entire cat. Yeah, she does, bro. She she streams for fucking hours. I know that bitch is a raisin. Six, 16 hours. You said what? Hours. I like, know that, know that bitch, bitch is a raisin. I know that bitch looks like bitch. a raisin, bro. For sure. Ain't no way you waiting around in that much water for hours and hours and exactly. hours just answering yeah. questions and talking to the chat. There's no fucking way you don't look like a raisin in the coochie. Are you kidding? On your toes, your legs, everything. You coming out looking like an 89-year-old woman. Woman, for sure. I'm like that after two hours in the pool. Uh, she in there for 16, 24. Bruh, I take a shower. 10 minutes. I'm like, woo wee. Like, I can't. I, mm -mm. That's got to be bad for your health. It has to. It probably is. Yeah, like, that's. Um, I don't know. You, you just sitting in water. You sitting in water for that that long. I don't. I assume. It got to have I assume some effect on the skin. Yeah, I assume your body is absorbing. The yeah, water. it's absorbing I, too I, much water. Yeah, I assume that's what it's doing, but I'm not a scientist. I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here now. But my point is, if you're gonna have, I've never really liked Etchy, just because. Just don't censor it. Like if you if you want to if you want to put implied titty in it, just put the whole titty. Just put the whole titty. All right. I don't need. I'm an adult. Okay. Clearly, this is a mature show with mature themes. Just put the whole titty in there. That's it. That's it. If you're on Twitch and you're in hot tub streaming, just put the whole titty in it. Just put oh, the whole titty. Okay. I don't. Okay. No, that, that's what you mean, no? Nah. I mean, there that you do. That's not how that works. <laughs> that's not. That's not how I that works. Should have got TOS, bro. <laughs> TOS. Oh, all of a sudden, TOS matter. Uh. <laughs> you think it matters for the women? Or the in the breadwinners? TOS don't. They you, don't. You know how. You know how TOS crazy Twitch shit. is with that. I'm for the start. Not I'm crazy Twitch is with that with the whole TOS thing. Let me go ahead and turn they demonetized the the hot tub streams. Oh yeah, yeah. I and in the that. same day, they made a whole category for it. Where's the logic? If if you don't want that type of stuff, if you if 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 brands deem this type of stuff not like uh safe for work, they can't get revenue for it or the, yeah, not yeah, safe yeah. for work stuff. Why are you making a whole category for it and you're trying to get your whole platform to be to conform to this type of level? Like that on. I think I think them acknowledging it is kind of like an issue for me. Interesting. Yeah, because uh, maybe not an issue, but it is interesting because that's acknowledging that hey, we've punished this type of stuff before, but all of a sudden it's like it's like OnlyFans not ex acknowledging the fact that there's majority sex workers on their platform, and every time they do any type of like paid promotion or something like that is with a celebrity or somebody mm. doing like making clothes or something like that with an Etsy shop. And it's like, bruh, bruh, who you fooling? You know why we come to OnlyFans. You know why we here. Okay. We, and we not here for this person selling, you know, thinking it's, it's another version of Patreon selling their workout plan or their supplements or their t-shirts, their hoodies, their mugs. No, bitch, we here for the Even though some people do that. Yeah. A lot of people do it. We are here for the T and A. Okay. No other reason. Sir slash madam. Okay. Um, I know I don't go be going to OnlyFans just for, you know. Just for my fun and enjoyment and shit like that. Oh, let me see. Let me see if my favorite podcaster got an OnlyFans. Like, no. What the fuck? Nine times out of, the ten, out of ten, you have an agenda. When mm -hmm. you, exactly. I when knew you exactly what I was. As soon as I typed in www. O, that's it. You knew where you was going. My browser knew what I was going. <laughs> Auto fill. Uh huh. After a while, it just started putting a desktop icon. Oh, we know where you're trying to go, big boy. <laughs> we, we know. We know where you're trying to go, play. Don't even front. <laughs> Man, it's a shortcut, bro. Uh, it's not even a shortcut anymore. It's a bookmark. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I'm just... I think when it comes to etchy anime, just make two versions of it. Put the whole titty in and then make a make a 17 and under version. Well, a ma I don't know. Like a mature rated... When something is mature rated, I assume by putting that stamp of maturity on there, it's like playing like God of War or any other mature rated game. You're putting this stamp on here that, hey, you're acknowledging that this is a mature rated title. There's mature themes in it. These are the things that are on it. It gives you a list. If, you know, you're old enough, you'd be like, yeah, this is something I'm into. Cool. You get a whole titty in God of War. No problem. Multiple sex scenes for six, seven, eight, nine years. Right? All of the God of Those War games. Good. Those are good scenes. Man, yo, they were great times. 
great, great time. I remember my mom would not let me play San Andreas, but when it came to God of War, she had no <laughs> idea what really was that going on crazy. in that game. Not a single thing. My mom said, I don't want you going around and shooting people and all this other stuff, but it, can I rip a motherfucker's head off in God of War? Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lutely Come on now. I don't really like all that cursing and stuff. Ma'am, I just ripped somebody's spine out of their asshole. <laughs> Are you worried about some cursing? Ah, uh, nah. You just... <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry. You got the game a little twisted, ma'am. But with, with film, is, isn't there, like, more ratings that you have to, like, yeah. stamp on that stuff than, yeah. like, a video game? And there's, there's certain... So maybe there's regulations that they have to abide by <clears throat> so where certain, they can have certain stuff in there. I guess so, but I mean, then you have like animes like Redo of Healer, which is a NC's, which is a con- considered a uh, mature rated, you know, and they got full on rape scenes in there, bro. Like Goblin Slayer, it, you, full on fucking rape scenes. You just can't, you can't show. Yeah, it, yeah, they, you can't show implied, it directly, though. but there's still titties and dick flying yeah, around all over the place, it. bro. It's the next best thing to an actual fucking hentai. I'm surprised it's not canceled yet. Chat, um, go ahead and confirm with me: Is Redo of Healer canceled yet? Or did it get it? Did it get it renewed for a second season? I I don't know. I don't know what episode it's on. I haven't been catching up with it. But um, yeah, man. I I don't know. Just just put the whole titty in there. Put the whole titty. Maybe don't put the coochie, but just put the whole titty in there. That's all I gotta say. So, um, let me see. Next question. Uh, where we got? Let me see. What's up? Blah 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 blah. It's a motherfucking vibe. Sergeant coochie. Damn. It's definitely still going. Um, let me see. My Twitch thing is not updating, so I'm about to pull up another one. Let's see another YouTube question from Gangsta saying, "How do we feel about more protagonists being bald in future anime?" I feel like that's a silly question, but I don't really care. Um, are you allowed to not want a Black America, or is it racist? Like Black Captain America? Oh, Black Captain America. Duh. That verbatim says that. Um. Hmm. Now, what do you mean by that? Are like, not uh, one, not one of black. Like Stephen Rogers America. as black, or someone taking up the mantle of Captain America. There's a um, big difference between. I that. think he he might be talking about the show. I think he's talking about like, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. Personally, I don't, I don't understand why people are so heated on it. To be honest, because people are racist. I, I know. <laughs> why, yeah. it's, exactly. Yeah. It's not that hard to figure yeah. out. Like you mean to tell no, me? No, no. Like, aside from that, like, bro, it's, it's, there's there a is, side. There is no. There is no. Like, there is no it's aside it's from not like that. they're replacing Steve Rogers. There, Steve Rogers ended his story, and Falcon's picking up the shield. It's yeah, but, not that crazy. Yeah, but teenage, you know, man, children, white white guys, they don't really they don't really like stuff being you know not theirs. It's just mm-hmm. like, oh, this is my he, toy. <clears throat> I understand. I understand the the argument where, oh, if you turn Steve Rogers black, then that's where, like, I understand why they fight that. That's the issue I have because, with the Superman situation, actually. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was there's so many the other Supermen on. that are black, but they chose. Oh no, Clark Kent. He's gonna be black now. It's like you're fucking with his whole origin story, dog. Is that considered blackwashing? Yes. Yes. I guess. My non DJ right. answer. Cause that like. <laughs> I'm waiting on DJ to answer. DJ is pontificating. I know he holds this. I feel like it is. I feel like taking the character. Yeah, you can't have it one way. Yeah, yeah. you can have can't a black suit whitewashing, but like it gets tricky though. Like, cause if on one side you could say like, "Yo, look, I don't want this person to be black. It's messing with the story," and then people are gonna be like, they gonna kind of back up on you, like, "Whoa, what you mean by that?" But then you could say. I want him to be black, and then you have like the hardcore people. Like, but why? Why? Why do you want? You can't just want somebody to be black just to for him to be black. You know, sometimes right, it don't right. make sense. Especially when there's an available black character. Yeah, I yeah. can un- I can understand if there's not an available character exactly. that already exists. You know, I mean, like I've- why not focus on a, a story of one of these other people? Why are you make? Why make this person? Mm-hmm change you know what i'm saying right an actual black character with a black it's, story it's, yeah it's tricky it's tricky like but, like, like Spider-Man. miles morales yeah yeah mm-hmm. exactly great example. You, you don't you don't take peter parker and make him black there's a whole nother exactly. character for that it changes, it changes i don't think you can have a completely. i don't think you can have a brother named peter Parker. i don't think you could either i don't think there's a brother out there named, i mean if there is yo i i need some th- prove it 
Prove your name is, P- that, is Peter B. Parker. I need to. Pr- I need you that, to prove it. That's where my issue comes in. Uh, but if they're picking up the mantle of someone, bro, I see no issue with this. If anything, it it could come up with another re- really cool story. I actually give a shit about Captain America now. I mean, Winter Soldier was my favorite out of the Captain America movies. Winter Soldier, I think, is uh, might be my f- one of my top five, if not top three, Marvel movies. Like, and I've shifted that list around a lot because I, I put Doctor Strange at the bottom at one point in time, and now Doctor Strange is at the top. So, uh, that movie's fire. That bro. shit is great, bro. It throwing up, fun. throwing up gang signs. Oh my god, it's yes, sir. Fire. Yo, throwing up gang could you fire. imagine making an entire hood of niggas, niggas wizards? <laughs> just roll the sorcerer hey, supreme club. Club? You throw good? Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy. Hey, you on the wrong block. Then you around you. <laughs> Say I won't bring crazy. the homies here. Say I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so. Man, open the portal. <laughs> I definitely do. Uh, I definitely wonder how they're going to treat Falcon as Captain America. Like, oh, racist. is he going to have to. Well, that's the thing. Is, is he going to have to go through racism? Like, some white guy's going to be like, you're not, you're not the real Amer- Captain America. He was white. Like, I want to see that shit. I want to see them talk yeah, about Yeah, I do want them to... Yeah, I want that to be part of the movies. I mean, technically, they were, but, like... I guess they what, alluded. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. that's what they made people mad. Alluded. They hit it directly. I mean, they hit everything yeah, yeah, except yeah. for yeah. somebody coming yeah. out straight saying, like, you're black. You can't be Captain Mary. Like, even, the, even then, they did that. Like, two With, or three times right, in the so show. Have anybody... Has, have y'all seen it so I can, I can talk about a scene like that? They, or what? We already passed it. If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that right, means so, you wasn't right, planning. To, that means you wasn't planning to see it. Arrow, have so, you seen it? Nope. All right. Well, you don't got to worry about it now. We about to spoil. I mean, it it's you. fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's a good. Show. Show. Honestly, I, I, I really don't. Care. Okay, I so there's the there entire scene show until it was in over. there. It's good. Where he's talking to the sen- the senator, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Uh, you don't understand like what we're trying to do here." And he's like, "Yo, I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. Like, what the, what don't I? Right, understand? right, right. Yeah." And then he was like, like even now, like when people are watching me on TV, I could feel the stares. Like, yo, you're that shit not hit. really Captain America. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that whole scene is like that's why people they were upset at that, and they were upset at the uh, scene with him and Bucky. I'm not gonna lie, the that those two scenes made me cry a little bit. I when he they, was talking they were to good. the center, yeah, they I were was, good I scenes. felt that shit. I was like, ooh, like I, I felt it in my. In my soul, I, I feel like my ancestors felt it. Like they hopped out and they were like, "What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they making a white superhero mm-hmm. black and people are not okay with it?" Like, man, I felt my inner cool. I think those really great understood. Scenes, man. My inner shock. I don't even Zulu understand said. why people are mad about it. Comics have been known to do shit like that. Ah, man, I don't know. You I, know the times we 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 is in right it's now. It's just, bro. and then so. you have some people that just do it not because they're racist, but just because they want to be part of like the edgy. I they want to cause chaos. Yeah, I want to be the yeah. anti whatever everybody else likes, you know, mob. Yep. And I think mm-hmm. that shit is that a, shit a is contrarian. Dumb. Yeah, they just like to do that shit just to do that shit, bro. Like it, and they won't have any like good points why they pick that side. You know what yep. I mean? Like, oh, it's not like that to the store. Thank you to my man for uh, the fifty-five uh, schmagegels. Thank you, I appreciate you, Chief. Uh, yeah, it's just schmagegels. You good, Arrow? What's <laughs> what happened? I, what? You don't got your glasses on, brother? You all right? You over there looking like Stevie <laughs> Wonder? You making me nervous? Yeah, I'm good. I was just trying to see what like <laughs> the fuck is that? Sick? Uh, what? yeah, that's schmagegels. That's Swe- uh, that's the Willy Wonka money. <laughs> Swedish. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's the Willy Wonka money. I'm pretty I, sure that's exactly what that is. Yeah. Bro. Um, <laughs> that's, the, that's the Candyland money. Um, <laughs> I, I th- you know what? I'm excited for the new Captain America movie, man. I'm, I'm just as excited for that as I am as I was for Black Panther. I'm not necessarily I'm, excited for Black Panther two because I'm a little nervous. Me either. Only me, because they too. can't, they can't stick. I wish they would delay it one more year. I I I can't see Black Panther without Chadwick, or at least Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger. I know I know people don't want to hear it. I know people don't want to see it. But I mean, he was the other best part of that movie for me. He was fire, dog. Yeah, he uh, see, it, it's crazy. As I get he older, made my nipples hard, man. Bruh, yes. Yeah. Your man was lactating in the movie theater. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but um. 
No, for, I mean, all jokes aside, I felt I felt a, a sense of pride just from like watching that movie, obviously. Um, and I feel like there's so many stories that need to be told, and the fact that Marvel is even attempting to do it, I I applaud them because I didn't think Marvel would do something like this. I didn't think Marvel would tackle racism directly. You know what I mean? Like I just wasn't expecting that. This is Disney. You know what I mean? I wasn't. Yeah. 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 That's not something I saw. I, I mean, I would expect DC to make some bullshit, horrible ass movie that has like, you know, <laughs> racist theme. Yeah. Like I would expect DC to hit more relatable shit like that, but Warner can't get their heads out of their asses to make a good movie for shit. So, you know, and it's a shame because they have great stories to tell. So, but it is what it is, I guess. So no, I don't consider it. Uh, I don't think I don't think people should be mad at you if you don't want a black Captain America. I think you should be mad at yourself. I think it's more about the reasoning. I'm sorry to cut you off, but nah, the reason yeah, the yeah. reasoning that uh, you have, like if you say I don't want him to be black, and then they ask you why, and then you got a bunch of dumb reasons that clearly point to racism, then people gonna be upset. But if you got legitimate reason, I can't I can't think of one because Falcon needs his story told. I would have I just, yeah. I I preferred replaced the character itself. Yeah, I would have preferred for Falcon to get his own movie and it be called Falcon, like at least have his name in it, because now it's a mm. Captain America movie. It's not going to, I mean, unless they call it Black America, which I'd be okay with that. No, the, I don't think they're going to do the that. The Rise of Black America. Let's yes, sir. Look. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see that origin movie. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, as long as it don't, it, I mean, if it turns out that you racist and you feel like you're not racist and you got to ask a question like that, you might be a little racist, Chief. So, you know, it is what it is. I dropped off of Marvel now. After after Thanos, I was like, cool, I'm done. I'm done with Marvel now. I'm going to watch Eternals. I can't. I didn't even see the trailer yet. What? The trailer yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, it was a good trailer. I, I had no urge to run and see the trailer, bro. When they drop a Blade trailer, I'm there for it. When they drop a Black oh, American yes, trailer, I, I'm there for it. I'd be there for a Blade trailer. When they drop the, the Black Panther 2 trailer, I'll be there for it. Like, there's only so many stories I actually want to care about. Uh, when they drop the Guardians 3 trailer, I'll care about that. When they drop uh, Thor 5, I'll care about that. Um, Isn't Batista not going to be a... Uh, what's his face anymore? Yeah, it's his last... He said uh, it's confirmed that because James Gunn is leaving after the third volume, uh, he's also leaving. So, and he also had an issue with like Drax not putting on a shirt, and he, and he feels like uh, I think it was in like a Vanity Fair article or a Variety article. He was saying how the diet that he's had to keep to be in the Marvel movies is just so ridiculous; it's making him unhappy. And, like, the amount of training and all this other stuff that he has to do to be in there. And he was like, yo, just switch me out for somebody. Just just, just find somebody else to take this mantle. And uh, Kevin Feige was saying, we can't do that. Like, you're you're a pivotal piece to the story. He, uh, I think his was definitely a Variety article where he was talking about uh, how Drax not being a part of the uh, MCU is actually a big hindrance on the next phase. And I'm like, yo, what you got Drax? Drax? Well, yeah, Drax? what you got Drax, Drax doing? Dude, Jax is a powerful ass character. He's actually underpowered in the in the movie. Yeah, honestly. So I don't I don't know. Uh, but any anybody got anything else to add about racism in uh, Marvel movies? Yes, no, maybe so. No, sir. All no, right. no, sir. All right. I like to see that. I, I thought Plank would have a strong opinion on racism, uh, considering he's a Why strong black man. Um, oh. Let's see. You're on I'm a quest black. to kill the antagonist in the anime. Who's on your squad? Like from anime in general, that seems like a silly question. Thank you, gangsta saying I appreciate you. I could uh, literally say just one character, and that one character could pull every everything for me. I would probably pick a character from Saint Seiya, just because you know they're galactic <laughs> level characters. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know they they even beat Goku, so it is what it is. But I'm a rock with my man Beerus. I don't think I don't think he loses to anybody mm. at all. Hey, what was the question? Mm. Um, basically, you know those uh. You know those those weird puzzle things where it's like choose three to protect you, th the the rest of them have to try to kill you, type memes. Have you ever seen I'm those? Taking, mm -hmm. so, bro, I'm just I'm just taking Gojo to protect me. Bro. Yeah, but it's it's one uh, you have to kill a main antagonist who's on your anime team, and I'm like, who's the antagonist? How many team? how many people how many y'all get? I assume it's how just many, one. How many team? He didn't elaborate. I'm just so, taking yeah. Gojo. So yeah. 
I'm good. Man, I don't need nobody. I was gonna say I'm, I'm the built main different. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm the main. I'm protagonist. the protagonist. I'm built different. <laughs> I'm built different. Yeah. Uh, do you think Berserk will ever get a proper adaptation? <sighs> Hopefully. No. That's a good question. No, I don't think it'll ever happen. Nope. Rest in peace, the goat. Yeah, rest in rest peace. In peace. Oh. Not happening now. I legitimately cried a little when I when I found out. Um, Berserk was a very important manga to me growing up. I think uh, no. I also I don't believe it should get one. Uh, just because I believe it's it should be respected in the form that it is right now. I believe that whatever's left is left, and I don't I don't believe in a continuation without the original author. So I I just think that's a little disrespectful to to continue a story that is you know somebody is literally taking to their grave with them so you know uh but you know oh when, when he said adaptation i thought he meant like an anime form not yeah, continuing yeah. the story that's what, he, that's what he meant yeah oh, oh okay i was just elaborating well, i assume that also meant the story I, was going forward too well i didn't didn't the uh the assistance of him say that they're gonna try to work on it uh I think. At least that's I what know. I heard on on Twitter. I don't know. Because their assistance, his assistance has been with them forever. So if they have like some knowledge of his story, then I'm all for it. That's uh, like uh, Toyo when it comes to can, adaptation. Dragon Ball Super. It's like <laughs> I I would just prefer for them to leave it alone. Just just let it. Oh, dude, where the story's at right now? Fuck. Don't finish. I'm gonna it, have bro. to do some head cannon shit, bro. Yeah, honestly, it's one of those things where the mystery is more important than the legacy, nah, or I guess the that. mystery fuck. is the legacy, really, because you'll now you'll never know what the actual ending of. Like, yo, if Oda dies, if Oda dies and One Piece doesn't get finished, bro, nerds all rioting in I'm the streets, bro. I'm gonna laugh at all One Piece fans, and especially because it's gonna turn hard. out to be friendship at the end anyway. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> who fucking cares? Just gonna walk in the sun. Actually and, like, we're gonna stay Piece friends theories. forever. Yeah, I don't because at this point with One Piece, I'm I'm obviously not caught up to it. What treasure could exist that that would satisfy Luffy? You know what I mean? That would satisfy that they made along oh. the way. The power of friendship, bro. That's it. That's the true treasure. You can't. That's, that's a lot of the theories. A lot of the theories are like that. Yeah, I mean, it's about the adventure. That's the actual treasure. Mm -hmm. So as for, the, as for the adaptation for Berserk, I think like Berserk hits that like level of manga that can't be done like at all to mm -hmm. like like Vagabond. Vagabond will never be done in anime like 100 percent just because Vagabond art like speaking like artistry is just so fucking good. Right. Never hit that level. Right. See, it's just and then the expectation becomes higher and higher. So. Uh, let me see. Who asked me about cancel culture? What was that? Um, how do you guys feel about cancel culture? That's the next question. It doesn't exist. exist. <clears throat> what? <laughs> you can't get you can't get canceled if you're a millionaire. I've had this conversation a lot. This when uh, when you hit a a certain threshold in monetary value, you're not you can't get canceled. You already made your money. There's no way. I mean, unless you're a fucking idiot. You can't be canceled at a certain point. Now, if you're like some fucking dipshit on the internet, then yeah, you're probably gonna get canceled. Like if you're like some guy who makes a hundred bucks or something, some dipshit, yeah, you'll get canceled. Yeah, you could lose your career. But think about all the examples we've talked about, even on this podcast, of millionaires who have done some fucking heinous shit, and they don't get that they get. Let me put this in quotations. Canceled. Yeah. They don't really get canceled. They still getting views. They still fucking racking up money from YouTube, Twitch, shit like that. I agree. Yeah. And it's just yeah, Kevin Spacey. What the what that whole thing that happened with him? They trying to yeah. say that he should get removed from the new movie that he's in or something like that. Isn't he producing it though? They, I don't know. I I I think he. All I saw was I think he's acting in it. And it's about pedophilia but, too. That's weird. Yeah, that's crazy. That's not. So. I, I feel like Kevin Spacey is it, dumb as fuck for that one. That's that's dumb as shit. You gonna stop? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. You you dumb as a box of rocks, buddy. You are dumb <laughs> as a box of rocks. Oh, we. I feel like in it. some cases people just hop on it just to do it though. So, 
There uh, is that side. I agree. I find it. I find it funny because they're so hypocritical. They'll be like, "Oh no, we're, we're canceling you," but then like, won't try to promote them to change, like become a mm. better person. It's like, what the fuck? Especially so when stuff is about is about growth. You know what I mean? There's so many people that that you know have yet to come across the ability. Well, not just the ability, but like the chance to to grow and learn from their mistakes. You know. I don't think uh, I don't think a lot of people have had that opportunity to do that yet. So, um, well, the court of public opinion is a, a very dangerous place because mm -hmm. you do something there where everybody there deems mm -hmm. that no, we don't like this is over with. Yeah. Um, at least for that moment. Situation. I think for me, I, I will say cancel culture can sometimes be a be a good thing because there are some people that say some stuff and they just need to get the fuck up out of here for sure yeah they need to be put underneath something real real deep uh they need to you know what did dmx say you know who gonna find you some old man fishing uh mm -hmm. i just you know some people those people exist but i think canceling people based off of them not sharing the same opinion as you i think is bullshit i think you know just because I th it's a little weird because if you say some fucked up shit and it's like real fucked up. Like, I think uh, we shouldn't have orphanages anymore. I think we should just put all, you know, kids without parents in ovens type shit. You know, something something along the lines of that. Some crazy shit, right? <laughs> Obviously, you got to get the fuck up out of here. But if you say yeah. something like, yo, I think, I think Beyonce is a little overrated. And somebody tries to comfort your job. Or, you know, you say something about racism that people don't agree with or something like that. That's your opinion. You know what I mean? Like... I think if it's not really like doing harm or intentionally like trying to harm someone or their bag, I mean, it's just an opinion. I don't think uh, it's kind of tough to to say who should, it, you know, like where do we draw the line? You know what I mean? I think it, the the further you move it back and then there's people trying to trying to can like false cancels and shit like that where it's just like, "Oh, this person must have touched the kid and blah blah blah." blah. And it's like turns out nothing yeah. happened. And then because of the court of public opinion, you never get that, like, that image back. You know what I mean? There's always going to be that, mm -hmm. that, that percentage of people that only saw that one pro – they saw the one post that blew up on Worldstar or, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, media outlet it may have been, but didn't see the, didn't see the apology. They didn't see the retraction. They didn't see it. They just saw, oh, shit, we canceling, you know, such and such and such and such. Unless it's like a crime. You know, you it got go real jail, crazy. Too. It got real crazy. They still trying to cancel Michael Jackson and he dead. Bro, that's that's ridiculous. That's that I is think that crazy. Is, I think that's that's way the, the man is not here no more. What yeah. is what is this? That's way I'm out just of be, I just be confused. I, I don't just don't see what are we supposed to do with canceling Michael Jackson? What is that supposed to do for us? Like uh, for real. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make any damn sense to me. Uh, we, I, I, people can stand on this figurative fucking mountain of, oh, I'm right. I'm bruh, a very, I'm, I'm a good person. It's like shut the fuck. Up. Cause I'm, I'm still gonna tell you. I, this may be a hot take. I don't give a damn if Michael touched them kids or not. I'm still gonna be dancing every, every. No, no, hear me out. Every motherfucking October, I will still be dancing to Thriller. Say I won't. Oh my God. Say I won't. I don't give a damn. Oh. Oh I absolutely God. don't give a damn. Thriller is a great... Where do we separate the artist from from their views and their opinions? You know what I mean? Like, that's does it, a fair assessment. I, Thriller is a true. banger. Billie Jean is a that's banger. True. You're not going to get that's me to, to suddenly, <laughs> oh, we're not listening to Michael Jackson no more. We? You? You not that's listening that, to yep. Michael Jackson. And, and it's the yep. same thing when whenever DJ accidentally plays Step in the Name of Love on his stream. And I'll be like, yo, R. Kelly canceled, but this fire. This song fire, okay? I think it's a little different for R. Kelly because you know he's currently sitting in the jailhouse right now, so yeah, <laughs> it's a little different. I mean, but I still, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say it, bro. I still listen, like, that, like Jay said, it, the stuff comes on on the stream. I'm gonna just be like, if I, if I don't feel like, like, if I see if it's a bunch of new people, right? I see my numbers are like above average of mm -hmm. what they are. I'm gonna be like, oh, that's not R. Kelly. What are you talking about? And I'm gonna click. I'm gonna change the song. But then <laughs> start like, getting you know, popular. Know, switch up real quick. <clears throat> yeah, if, if the regulars in there, I'm like, I'm, I'm letting that ride. Bro. Yeah, right. right. They haven't sent you a DMCA yet. 
Probably because no. R. Kelly need the plays. That's what it is. That's crazy. R. Kelly need the money on his books. R. Kelly need the money on his books. I said it on stream. I'm like, look, if you want me to stop playing this music, you have to email me. Mm -hmm. Until I get that email, listen, we letting that playlist fly. Yeah. Right. So until they catch me, it's whatever. Right. Um, let me see. We're going to take a few more questions because we're already over the hour mark, uh, which is good enough for me. Um, starting story writing, blah, 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 blah. I sent my question on Twitter. Okay. So let me take, let me take a couple of these on Twitter real quick. Some of the Twitter ones are a little wild. Um, <laughs> I'm here for it. Tell me about the time. Uh, okay. So my man, who is this? Who said this? Uh, like the programmer says, um, what was it like the summer when you were 16? It's a pretty innocent <clears throat> question. Not bad. I don't remember mine. Summer 16. Oh, I remember, 16. Right. I remember oh. summer 2016, though. We was dancing to Drake all season. All summer long. Summer 16. Yeah. summer 16 was hype. Summer 16. Yes, sir. But I don't remember yeah, I don't when remember I was. what it was when I was 16 years old. Yeah, I don't remember 16. that. I don't, yeah. Uh, I was probably I high. Know. I don't remember. That was literally half my <laughs> life ago. Dog, right? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I... This man is disgusting, bro. bro. I, don't, Dude, I don't know what I'm doing I'm with my life, bro. 30, I'm, I'm, bro. Oh, yeah, crazy. I'm almost 30, still trying to get a fucking 10,000 subs on YouTube. What am I doing, bro? I need to... Listen, it's almost like being a tall person and working at a bakery. What are you doing here, dog? What are you doing? <laughs> you need to stop baking shit and pick up this rebound, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> You're wasting your own time. So that scholarship ain't pulled through. Yeah, man. But I, I've already decided as soon as I'm I'm like officially ready for this pandemic to be over for me specifically, I'm going back to doing stand up comedy, bro. I'm 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 tired of being funny for free. I'm absolutely tired of it. So I wish I had you I wish I had my, my crew around me to be able to go, but this is just something I'm a, I have to learn to figure out how to do by myself. So uh, my man Lil Wake asks, what's your opinion on colorism, specifically in the idea that it is wrong to not want to date someone or be in a relationship with someone because of their skin color, therefore excluding them from people you find attractive? What? A loaded question. That's a, that's a, that is a loaded question. Oh, brother, you going to hell. You going <laughs> to hell. There's a special place for people in hell like you. I can't. <sighs> I would just go first. Let your man, right. let Uncle Jay Sama tell you exactly how I feel. All right? I don't care how dark old girl is, okay? I don't give a fuck. If she's nice to me, she can get pipe for me. That's all I'm saying. If she is, okay. <laughs> let me say it again. If she is nice to me, she can get pipe from me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So is 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 this saying like do you discriminate? Is this what That's really, basically is what that what is. This? Is it, it should he feel wrong? Is it, it should you consider it wrong to discriminate? I mean, preferences are one thing, but brother, racism is another. Yeah. <laughs> like full on yeah. like colorism. It's one thing if you won't date a girl and you know, of course black women will probably a, a, women in general probably have a problem with this answer. Like, if you want to date somebody because of their skin tone specifically, that's fucking weird. But if you want to date somebody and they happen to be a specific color, eh, that's okay. If you have a specific preference or a type, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, you hate black women because you won't date. You know, I'm not, I, I feel like I can't say that. But for it's you a, to it's purposely. A, it's a bunch of people like that in the world. Yeah, too, but for you to it. purposely go out of your way to say, oh, I don't, I, I don't date black girls. You know, they be loud, they be this, they be that. That's a form of racism. That's a form of racism, not just colorism. And that's that's in here. That's in here and that's in here. That's in your head and in your heart, bro. Somebody taught you that. Somebody taught you that it was okay to speak that way. Somebody taught you it was okay to play that, you know, feel that way. You know, part of then you you way. labeling them as a, as a as a people like because you're not labeling. <laughs> it's not the same thing individually. Now, is it some ratchet girls out there? Absolutely, course, it's, it's ratchet, ratchet white. Ratchet it, yeah, it's ratchet white women. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Latinas. Oh my it's ratchet God. Asians. Like it's it's, it's ratchet everywhere. Dude, it's ratchet is everywhere. My Latinas, bro. My Latinas. Where? Yeah, I want them to chase they, me up and down the parking lot with that with that switchblade. Well, blade. you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> gonna so. gonna taste me. Yeah, Maria, I'm running away. I see you got the butterfly <laughs> knife. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. You're so cute. It's, oh, it, it's so weird because uh, 
growing up, I wanted to, like, not only date, but, like, marry a Hispanic chick. Because I'm Hispanic. Therefore, like, I wanted to share my culture with a person that's within my culture as well. Right. And lo and behold, I I, I wifed up a fucking uh, white girl. Mm-hmm. And... See? He found love. It was love first. It, it Like, it's so weird because, like... When people say, "Oh, I don't, I don't date this or I don't date that," it's like, bro, you're like, you're, you're robbing yourself from like moments where you could date someone without you even knowing. Bro, ain't like, no way, ain't no might... way you could tell me, don't date somebody and their their culture has fire food. I could never do it. Oh. I could never do it. <laughs> bro, I don't know what it is. I thought white people couldn't cook until I came here. Well, her mom's southern, so that's probably why. Ah, uh, but see, bro. southern white is mixed in. It's different. Dog. That's, uh, the food she makes, I'm like, L- listen, lady, you need to teach me how to do this. Then you got the other ones fire. that make uh, bologna sandwiches and stuff like that. Bro, no, no. That's a cultural so, food, like, isn't ex- Ham and cheese Extra sandwiches. mayo. Extra <laughs> mayo. You know, a little bologna I'm sorry. You got it, I'm sorry. You got it on the white bread. I'm just saying some. I'm not saying, I'm not saying everybody, you know. Some, I mean. Or the Wonder no, Bread. There's nothing, one. There's nothing the like a bread. sweet <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Bro, I remember the first time I had an elote. I'm a, let me tell you something, bro. The elote? First, elote, the first time I had an elote, I knew I was in love, bro. See, and I've always, I, me particularly, I've had a list. I said black women are first just because culturally, spiritually, emotionally, like we're just on a similar wavelength. You know what I mean? Like I can joke around with a black woman and she go, nigga, what are you talking about? And it's like, I, I couldn't date somebody where I would feel uncomfortable if they said that exact sentence word for word. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I would feel some type of way. Not only that, there's a specific struggle for me in general that a black woman can identify with and and and, and speak to me on. Like, I've dated white women before, and it's just... Even though their opinions may be shared about, like, you know, racial topics and stuff like that... And, you know, you may be venting to her about, you know, traffic stop or like something that happened or say, you know, t- today is the anniversary of George Floyd being killed as of like right now, today, as of the recording oh. of this video. Yeah, it is one year ago today. Yeah, it is. And, it is. Has been a yes. and having a conversation with, you know, a, a white girl and she's like, yeah, I understand. No, the fuck you don't. You really don't. I was having this conversation with with a homegirl of mine last week when it, I told you guys we got in a big argument about it. And she tried to tell me how I should feel about her mom's, you know, like racial, you know, sayings. Like I, we watched um them together, right? Which is a trippy fucking show. Holy shit, that show is crazy. If you guys get a chance to watch them on Amazon, absolutely watch it. It's scary as fuck and it's black as fuck. It, two things I actually fucking like. And a lot of the topics that were relatable in the 1950s about racism and redlining and making sure black people can own stuff. And then when they move into certain neighborhoods, they're they're discriminated against and treated a specific way. These are all real things. Her mom had the nerve to say, well, stuff like that happened on both sides. I'm sorry. I didn't realize white people weren't allowed to own homes in black neighborhoods. I didn't I didn't realize white people were being lynched and dragged behind cars and killed by, you know, just from looking at black people. I didn't I didn't realize that was happening. My bad. My bad. That's like the one guy that came out and said COVID only exists in New York. That's that's it. Bruh. Bruh. Anyway, I'm getting way off. She said that. And then when I tried to, like, rationalize it, I was like, okay. Your mom just said that I understand, you know, she has her specific point of view. And from the rest of the conversation, I was like, I'm not trying to talk about your mom specifically. I'm trying to talk about people that have that same thought process and see a show like this and think it's, it's, it's like nonfiction. You know what I mean? Like, like this shit didn't happen. Like COVID's not real. Like wearing a mask is not mandatory. Those type of people, you know what I mean? Those type of people will see a show like this. And she swore, she swore straight up and down. Well, if a white person saw this show, they would just assume that all black people think all white people are racist. In 1956, there were actual laws to prevent black people from owning property. And it was a law, a real written down law. And I'm like, anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting way off. Uh, the point I was trying to make is racism exists 
acknowledge that you are a little racist, whether you want to say it or not. But if it's just your preference, you know, if it's just your preference, you be quiet about it. You know what I mean? You date who you want to date. You don't need to voice all the time, oh, I can't date black girls or I can't date this, I can't date that. Because then it no longer becomes a preference. It becomes it, it, it becomes your, your, your unspoken form of racism, I guess. Because you wouldn't date this specific type of girl because of stereotypes that actually don't exist. They mm -hmm. don't. So would you say that dating within your own culture and sticking to that own culture is good like as a preference no i wouldn't say that either either i would say the exact same thing like You're just saying that no no i would say the exact same thing both ways if you feel like like that's who you specifically want to date like i only want to date within my race like if a white person was like i only want to date within my race like i'm never gonna I, it's adding the stereotype part where i'm not going to date this specific group of people because sprinkle in stereotypes that's when it's that's when it becomes like the fucked black up. girls being loud. Yeah. First of all, yeah. I love me a black whoo, yo. I can't be with a woman that's not loud. Absolutely not. Cause I'm loud. If we get violated in public, you know, somebody somebody do somebody say do does something, somebody says something. Baby, you see this shit? You see what the fuck this is? And oh, we, I pay to see that. And we on the same page about it. Only a black woman has done. Only black women have done that with me. That's it. That's it. So, to kind of go back to it, no. If you want to date inside your own race because you know that's just who you prefer, not because you don't like the other ones. You don't have to put down one in order to make the other one feel good. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be that like, thing. oh, well, white girls are better because A, B, C, and D, or Hispanic girls are better because A, C, and D, A, B, C, and D, while also putting down other women. Just say that's what you like. That's the difference. So I think when you start adding the stereotypes, that's when it's just like, oh, okay, so you actually are, you know, there's some racism. I can there. understand that. So mm. for me, it was more like when I was growing up, I was like, I want to date a Hispanic chick because my his my my uh my heritage is very important to me. Right. Like, and you relate to it. Spanish, exactly. Like yeah. uh, speaking Spanish, <laughs> said Dr. The food, everything, right. like legitimately, is something I grew up with. Right. And now that well, that's kind of the same thing that Jay said, too, about the, the the dating the black girl. I'm sorry, so cut you off. But no, no, no. You, yeah, you're right. Completely correct. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's okay when you're doing it out of out of a place like of love. Like I love my culture. That's why I want to do it. But if it's like, oh no, I only date Hispanics because I hate white people or I hate black people. That's like, that's sus, bro. Like that's you're that's you're sus. just filled that's with hate at that point. Yeah, yeah. You're exactly. just filled with hate at that point. Yeah. So. Wait till you try some of that food and still be racist. All right, bro. The people who said, man, those immigrants need to go back. Okay, stop eating our food. We're going to stop. You like them tacos a lot, dog. Yeah, I see. Taco Tuesday? No, no, no. No, no. Bologna yeah. Tuesday. Dog. Hey, Emily, that? I saw you last week celebrating Taco Tuesday, talking about Cinco de Mayo, bitch. Like, what? Hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> like, what? That shit. that shit is the most disrespectful shit I've ever they seen. They will have the audacity to call every Mexican. Oh, every Mexican's a drug dealer and all this crazy shit. By the way, Susan, Bro, we're having tacos. Could, on you, could you imagine if every Mexican was a drug dealer? That whole community would just be dope as fuck. Not gonna lie. There would be economic, like, no pun booms everywhere, bro. Yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. Like, there would actually be money in that community. Like, that's... I mean, it's insane, Hispanics bro. already have money in the community. That's what I'm saying, man. So... We own, like, that's the crazy part. Like, I grew up in an all-Hispanic neighborhood. <laughs> All the stores were Hispanic owned, <laughs> this, neighborhoods, everything. This motherfucker Mar uh, Marski said, Jay's the type of dude. <laughs> Jay's the type, if someone died in October, he for a moonwalk at yeah. the funeral. <laughs> Jeez. You goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. You Umar is shaking do. right now. <laughs> if that's your form of tribute, uh, you go ahead and play it. Hey, man, listen, my man's loved, and I mean absolutely loved. Michael Jackson, okay? Ain't no way I'm finna not moonwalk on his grave. He requested that I do this, okay? Last will and testament, all right? It may not be in the with will. The spin and a tippy toe. Yes, sir, with the all crotch grab and all of that. All uh -huh. of it. One glove on, glittery shoes and everything. B, I'm here for it. Okay? And the socks, too. Yes, sir, glitter and all. Um, let's see, we go take a few more questions. Uh, like the programmer on Twitter also says, question. 
what was it like the first time? How, how was it and what was it like the first time you piped a female? Mm. Oh, I need. Mm. Uh, Didn't happen. We messed up I, the first time. I, we were both virgins. I respect. Yeah, you know what? I respect his answer. Um, that's that's very. It, you, I, I know. Think, I wanted to add. I think on I told Jim. You should tell the podcast. Hmm? Me? Yeah. Uh, you should tell the podcast. My first time was uh, twenty three, I think. Yeah, with the love of your 23 life. Twenty three years old. Yep. Yes, Currently sir. still with her. Yes, yeah, sir. She uh. I grew up, so this is a weird story, but I grew up a Christian all my life. So I was waiting for the one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after I moved out, I was like, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm done with the one. And, and my homie that I moved in with, that's what he found. His you. girlfriend, his girlfriend's friend is the one that I piped. And I kid you not, we piped for like four or five hours. Could not nut at all. That first time is tough. Uh, I, I didn't either. Up. I didn't either. My first that time. Shit, mm. That shit was rough. We had to stop because we had to go to work in the morning. But my dick hurt like hell. That shit was Look rough. at God. Look at God. He said, oh, you stop You stopped looking for the one, huh? I got you. And then the next day. Then that was it. That's it. There you go. And then, uh, you know, I've been dating her. We dated the moment we moved out together. So. Yeah, that's beautiful. And now I'm in Florida with her parents. I wish I could find me a black woman that loves me like that. I mean, I did, but I fucked up. Um, anyway, uh, mm. yeah, what, what about you, DJ? What about you, brother DJ? Tell us about that first pipe. Why is there ain't much to say, one? really? Uh, ain't much to say, really. I just didn't. I was. Just, it was the same thing. There was no. There was no release for my first time either. So I don't know what it was. If it was like. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what it was. I think it's just that I was talking to like uh, some of my friends about it, mm -hmm. and they was like, "That's actually common because the same thing happened to them too." When when they did, I think, know, or I think they it's first just being too. tense, and then you just don't do it. You just tense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was told that it was just it's because a, you're so nervous. Yeah, it's a new it's it. a new experience. Your body is just like, <clears throat> oh my god. What like what? Yeah, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> like. But I mean, if you even if you if you get excited to that point, is it isn't isn't that how you, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like a it's, a, it's like a countermeasure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like you you spend a lot of time thinking about not nutting that you don't nut. You're like, oh my god, I can't nut. It's my first time. I can't nut. I can't. I, I, I can't be a two minute man. I can't be a two pump chump. I can't do it. Oh, that wasn't me at all. I was I was, I was going. Bro, that, I was actually I was actually very embarrassed my first time. My first time. Uh, Somebody will say it was, you know, I was coerced, but it was a family friend. Okay. Oh my God. I hope my mom don't hear the podcast. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah. it was, it was a family. It was at a friendly a family friend's house. Right. And this man's um, still going to tell the story. Yes, sir. Uh, bro, I ain't got no shame. <laughs> Who going to come after me? Who going to come after me? Bro, I keep the peace on me. Look, I keep the motherfucking hat with me, bro. You see who the fuck I okay. roll with. Um, okay. uh, <laughs> anyway. No, you, you forget. I remember I remember your mom. Yeah, I remember my mom as well. I talked to her this morning. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so it was at a family friend's house. Okay, we were at a function. They were white. Um, it, was uh -huh. in, it was in Northern California because we always go and see them, my mom's friends. My mom's friend every time we go and see my family that lives in the bay area right so i knew it was some trouble when i met this girl because i was she was two years older than me um i was 11 at the time and she was 13 no she was turning 14 that's why we went because it was also her birthday at the time and i remember we were hanging out and we went swimming that day we had barbecue and we were hanging out in the house and the kids were, were in the house while the adults were outside, you know, doing whatever the fuck they were doing. And my brother and like three or four other of the kids were downstairs playing, I don't know, something on Xbox or some shit. I think it was like Halo 1 or Halo 2 had come out. And um, yeah, I think it was Halo 1. And um, I remember we went upstairs. Okay, we're going to call this girl. We're going to name her um, Cynthia, right? So me and Cynthia go upstairs and we're just hanging out and like, and she, you know, she's showing me her room or whatever. And she's like, do you want to play Lion King? I said, God damn it. I love Lion King. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course I want to play Lion King, bitch. 
What Wait, the fuck? The NES? What the? F no, 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 my brother, no, no. Like, <laughs> not that Lion King, not that Lion King. I'm trying to figure out what type of game this <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, and then all I, of a I'm, sudden, all of a sudden, you know, we started wrestling. Because I was like, I've seen the movie. I know exactly what Lions, Lions wrestle, oh bro. Then all of a sudden, I hear, can't you feel the oh love God. tonight? Bruh. And so we're <laughs> yeah. just, we just like, rolling yeah. around, bro. And so we get we get under, under her bed. And she's like, I want to show you something. And so I'm like, all right, it is what it is. And so you know we start messing around, and at eleven years old, I'm, my brain is like, "Yo, I seen this on the on the channel that mom tells me not to watch. I seen this on the fuzzy on you know the fuzzy channel. You know what I mean? Gotta gotta hit the cable box to channel eighty one type B. You know what I mean? And um, <laughs> and uh, so I'm I'm just sitting there, and you know we're under the bed and we're kind of kissing and stuff. And I was like, you know what? This is you know I'm feeling kind of weird. I'm feeling kind of tingly. And she's like, okay, well, let me, let's, let's try something. And so she gets in this weird position where she puts her leg one way and then wraps it around me. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, yeah, just go ahead and do this. She reaches her hand down and I'm like, oh, this is cool. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. And so we do it. We going back and forth and I'm thinking like, yo, what the, what the fuck is, what the fuck is going on right now? What am I doing? Is this okay? Um, and so we hear her dad coming up the stairs. Are you, hey, are you guys up here? And I'm like, uh, and so your boy is just trying to get, trying to get, you know, put everything back together and look composed, right? And so we're still under the bed. And so he comes walking in and he's like, are you guys up here? And she goes, yeah, we're underneath the bed. And I'm like, bitch, why are you, why are you, shut up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> she goes we're just you know collecting toys and getting ready to take them downstairs and we and you know we lost one and he goes well if you guys are kissing under there you know that's okay that's perfectly normal i said kissing Fuck. wait a bit kissing he think we kissing i said ah okay well you got us uh -huh. he's like okay well don't take too long come back downstairs and I just, that's when I knew white parents were just different. <laughs> white I'm parents just, I'm, just, I'm just, white parents. It ain't making just, no sense to me. I, that's what I'm saying. White parents are truly different. And so when I asked, and so he goes back downstairs and I was like, okay, so do we, do we keep going? And she, she goes, no, I'm done. And she just crawls right up under and just skip, skip to my loo. And I'm sitting underneath the bed, just staring at the fucking springs. What just happened? What the what the fuck just happened? I'm, I, I was so confused, and I didn't realize what had happened until summer vacation was over, and I got back to school that year, and I told my boys. I said, "Yo, y'all ever? Oh, Jay, Jay got him some nookie during the summer. Oh, bro, did, what did the pussy taste like? Was it cold? Was it warm? Asking me all type of questions that I didn't know the answer to, even though I had experienced vagina for the first time." I was perplexed. And ever since then, my life has been downhill. <laughs> yes, sir. I did not see that in the Yes, comment. sir. Yes, Neither, sir. No. It was a, it was it's been a tough ride. And honestly, I really wish I would have I would have uh, you know, not partaken in in, oh, in, wow. in the cursed coochie, bro. Forbidden fruit. Yeah, the forbidden, forbidden, forbidden fruit, fruit, man. So I commend Tony all the time. Like, bro, you really made it that long, man. Honestly, I would have held it till thirty if I thought I could. That would have been <clears> Bro, 20, I would have so much. I would have so much money in my pockets right now. All the money that I spent for coochie just would have gone into a savings bank somewhere. The coo the bank of coochie, if you will. And the bank of coochie. Yes, yeah, sir. It's it is federally funded institute. Um, so yeah, that was that was my first time. Uh, I was, also like to add, my first time was with uh, Mass Effect music in the background. That's crazy. You nope. left Mass Effect running while y'all was doing it? While we was doing it, you know? It was magical, dog. All I gotta That's say is... One. That's how I knew. Uh, all I gotta say is... My you name got is leaving Commander. Earth on in the background. The, all I gotta say is, my name is Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite shop on the Bro, Citadel. <laughs> I, I told her that, and she was like, get off me. Like, oh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> wow, it just ended right there. 
Oh my god, man, yo, yo, that's that's wild. So he said that my man was going through the post nut without the nut. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was <laughs> that was a tragic time for your boy. Um. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, uh, but with that said, um, I think we did a pretty good podcast today. What do you th- what do you guys think? This was pretty fun. It's turned out. A little I think cool. it's good. I think we're good. Yeah, it's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, there's still yeah. like a ton of more questions, so we're probably gonna save these for next week. Um, if you guys want, make sure to follow all of our social medias. Um, every single week, I make sure to tweet out uh that we're having the podcast so if you guys want to ask more questions that would be the time to do so uh if you guys are not already in the discord there's going to be a link down in the description if there's not a link just ask me after the stream i'll go ahead and put it in there um that's pretty much it does anybody have anything they want to announce any projects coming up anything they're working on uh anything like that some closing statements if you will yeah i'm ugly uh thank you for having me on the podcast of course, was not was expecting a, to be in a podcast. Hey man, yo, it was a pleasure having you, man. I missed you. Thank you. I absolutely miss you, miss you, man. Just having regular conversations with my best friend is just, you know, it's been real tough, bro. And, Listen, you know, man, I'm down to do this more. Hey, <laughs> come back next week. Uh okay. Same time. Actually, an hour earlier. We were late today. We are an hour forty five yeah. late. I'm, I'm a DJ is ready to I'm go here. to bed. Well, it's it's, it's Monday, so uh, wait to Monday, so. Yeah, it's on it's on Monday. So yeah. on Monday? Yeah, on Monday. Mm-hmm. So Okay, that's fine. Um to my man Aeronage, you got any closing statements for the people? Anything you want people to know? Uh you gonna be at Evo this year? Be excellent. Uh probably not. Well it's, uh, if it's if it's online, obviously, but like uh offline, I don't I don't think so. You're not getting the vax, bro? Uh yeah, I have to. To to do fighting game stuff you have to have the vaccine mm. you just have to so i think it's a uh, i'll talk about it off, off the podcast you know i don't want people thinking i'm my anti-vaxxer or anything like that i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna just wait till i get it and they put me in the dirt honestly but you know what <laughs> whatever uh brother plank any words of wisdom for for the ladies and gentlemen of the podcast oh i have to say something real like real uh, i can't just say i'm ugly i, I mean <laughs> You're ugly squared. You're ugly squared. All right. But anyway, thank you guys for listening. This has been the Canon Culture Podcast. We will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure to keep it canon.